Okay, we're gonna make our spaceships fly. Let's go programming 12. Uh, then we're basically gonna continue building the move uh, function, right? We have some like, hey, if we're pressing keys, so we're gonna have another key to press. Um, this is gonna get, I think, a little bit uh, tricky. This is probably the most interesting P vector stuff we've done. Uh, so the first thing I wanna program before we put in our keys is just this code here, location.add velocity. That's what makes velocity an actual velocity. It's gonna change our position. Uh, a change in position is you know, a velocity. So that's great. Uh, <laughs> I guess, it, yeah, we won't get into the, the nitty gritty of physics. So we're gonna be adding our velocity right now at zero, zero. So when I press a key, I would like to increase our velocity. So if I press the up key, let's say up key is like throttle forward. So I'm gonna press, uh, if I press up key, I wanna kinda of push my spaceship in the direction I'm facing. Um, so that's direction, right? So what I can say is, I can say velocity dot add direction. And that's not gonna be a lot because uh, direction is a small number. Uh, if I recall, it's just a length of one. So that's cool. And I think uh, we can we can work with that, but that'll add up quickly. So we'll see how that goes. So let's run and see what happens. Uh, mm, <laughs> good luck. Okay, so we can rotate. I'm gonna press the up arrow. Oh, it's so fast. Okay, yeah, here we go, darting around. Oh my god, it's so it's so fast. I like it. I like the challenge of it. I think that's actually pretty fun. You kind of have to go in the, to slow down. You have to go, you have to turn your spaceship around and fire the jets in like the opposite direction, so to speak. So like, I'm just kind of free drifting here. If you go off the screen, it's just gonna go off the screen. Like it's gonna disappear uh, and now you have to fly back on. So it's easy while you're debugging to get wrong. And oh my gosh, you can zip. Like you can zip so hard, it's uh, it's not even funny. Um, but that's that's sort of the beginning of things. So, um, so we got a spaceship. So there's a few tasks I would like you to do. I would like you to think about how is it that you could um, limit the speed of the spaceship or um, and maybe like get it a little less janky in terms of its like rapid acceleration. Like maybe our direction is too big or something in terms of its magnitude. Um, so and also make it like wrap around the uh, top and the bottom. So instead of flying off into space, make it so that when the spaceship hits the top of the screen, it shows up at the bottom of the screen. And if it goes off of one, you know, um, edge uh, left or right of the screen, it, it goes to the other. Make it kind of wrap around universe because that's a classic aspect of asteroids. Uh, you can use, um, you'll have to use vectors in order to make this all work, but the logic I think is very similar to even going back to the clicker game, that kind of information. So again, uh, wrap around world, try to get your um, acceleration a little more manageable, I guess is, is a good word for it. And um, yeah, get your spaceship looking the way you want it to. Okay, so there you go, that's our spaceship. We made it work. Thanks so much, everybody.